Here on the FM Scout channel, we regularly get comments from you guys suggesting players for us to check out in FM24, and today we'll be doing exactly that. Looking at some of the most overpowered players in the game, recommended by you, a full team of 11 players from all across the pitch, different price points, so hopefully there's something for everyone, but this is going to determine whether we should listen to you guys or not. Are these players any good? Now there's a mixture of wonder kids and older talents in this team, but the first recommendation, our goalkeeper, is Sir certainly a good one and one that I can get behind. This is Gulame Restes, whose name I've probably butchered there, but he is a French 18-year-old goalkeeper, already considered the first choice keeper for Toulouse, who are of course a side in the top division over there in France, which shows his ability to be starting for a club like that straight away. Now, he is quite a pricey keeper, but his price can fluctuate a few years in. Irrespective of that price, though, he is still a top option and definitely a good suggestion from you guys, a modern-day keeper that can play with the ball at his feet as well as do the normal traditional goalkeeping stuff. He's equally good on the sweeper keeper duty and the standard goalkeeper duty, a left footed keeper. He usually goes on to be France's international goalkeeper and most of the time will be the best if not one of the most elite keepers in the world. I've done plenty of rebuilds myself where we've signed this guy and I genuinely think he is a gem. So as far as the first suggestion goes from you lot, this is a very good one. Before we continue with the rest of the picks in this team though, I want some help from you guys if possible, comment down below your favourite player in FM24 so far. If you can give a reason, even better. They can be wonder kids or 35-year-olds. It doesn't matter. I want to hear your suggestions. And there's a very, very good chance that we're going to make a video following up to this one with the comments that we get from you guys. So drop down below your favourite players. And whilst you're there as well, if you want to smash that like button and hit the subscribe button as well, it would go a long way into helping us here on the FM Scout channel in what, if I'm being honest, is a bit of a lull in views and general FM interest at the minute here on YouTube so any support will be massively appreciated but let's check out player number two where we've got Matthias Ginter you might know this guy he has been a pretty prominent name in the Bundesliga for the last 10 years or so and has always been pretty decent in football manager 29 years of age now a German international valued at about 30 million pounds which is quite excessive for a 29 year old but he is a very high level player good at playing out the back with good attributes in all areas also pretty dominant aerially. You can see he's been to Dortmund, Freiburg, Gladbach, and now back to Freiburg again, where he's a very important player for them. In fact, he's considered a star player, but the comment that we got about him suggested that he has great hidden mental attributes. Now, I'm not going to show you them and spoil them for you. I know a lot of people don't want to see that, as you can only see them with the in-game editor, but I can tell you the comment was right. He's got great hidden attributes, everything from consistency, important matches, just a top professional and one of the best centre-backs in that regard. So yes, a very good pick here. Would I spend £30 million on him over some other defenders? Maybe not just because of his age, but outside of that, he is a top player. A much younger option though, and one of the best wonder kid defenders of this year is Martin Wittek, a great suggestion and one that we have spoke about quite a bit on the channel already. A 20 year old, six foot four centre back with 16 strength, 15 jumping reach, good ball playing ability, as well as very good tackling attributes. And you can pick all of that up usually for only a few million pounds. Often he'll retain that kind of price point as long as he's at Sparta Prague. Even if you're a few years into your save, if he's still at the club, he's not going to see much of an increase on his valuation. If anything, you can often get him for a little bit less. He's got great potential as well. His potential range is very high, meaning he can grow into one of the world's best centre-backs for such a cheap fee. He'll be in most of your saves as well, so head on over to the Czech divisions when you get the chance. Pick this guy up and you won't regret it. Good in the air, strong, quick, a modern-day centre-back who's going to have a bright future both in-game and probably in real life as well. The youngest player in this list, though, suggested by you guys is Mark Bernal. He's a great option coming from the Barcelona Academy who's going to cost you about £8 million. And for that kind of fee... I actually think this is fantastic value. Don't be fooled by the star ratings at the age of 16 because they are not to be trusted. But player traits, he has got some great ones in terms of being a dictator in that midfield. He's got great physical attributes, really good mentally and very good technically as well. Can put in a tackle, can pass the ball well. By the time he's 18, 19, he'll look like a completely different player. I actually did a Barcelona rebuild myself and he turned out to be one of the best players in our team within a few years with the right development 
given the opportunity, he can grow really well. The best compliment I can give to him is he was very Busquets-like at full growth when you look at his attributes. We did loan him out in the rebuild, if I remember right, but when he got that development, he was top, top draw. So he is a very good suggestion, one that I can definitely vouch for. And so far, you guys are off to a flyer. Now, I mentioned I signed Mark Bernal in a rebuild before, and that is something that I do on my channel, which you can find linked in the description. More Football Manager content, but more entertainment-based than it is informative like we do here on FM Scout. We do Football Manager rebuilds, everyone from Barcelona to Hertha Berlin to Hamburg. We've done so many clubs, clubs from all around the world. So if that sounds interesting, I really do think you'd enjoy the content. So once this video is done, check it out in the description, smash the subscribe button, and I'd be massively thankful. But let's get into our midfield players. And our first one is a player that is very highly rated in Football Manager. This is Gedson Fernandez of Besiktas. The Portuguese international is going to cost you about 20 million. You might remember him from his Tottenham days, maybe even his Benfica days, but now he is playing out in Turkey. And in terms of ball winning midfielders, he is certainly one of the best. Has he got the kind of attributes where he can play every role in the midfield? I don't think so, but particularly in a box to box or like I say, a ball winning kind of role, Gedson Fernandez is fantastic. 18 stamina, 18 natural fitness, speed, strength, and balance combined with good determination, flair, and fantastic work rate. A real workhorse in the midfield with 14 first touch, great dribbling, tackling ability, technique, passing. He can actually be quite creative and his finishing isn't the worst at 10 with 12 long shots. So I actually think box to box, if you're looking for that kind of role in your team, he could definitely do at a fantastic level for only 20 million. Yes, I know based on his attributes, he doesn't look like the sexiest player. You know, a lot of them are tens, nines, maybe not the best, but in the areas that he needs to perform at a top level, he definitely has it all in his locker and could really play for the most elite sides in the world. Speaking of players that can play for elite teams, we've got Atalanta's Dutch midfielder, Tien Koopminers. He's going to cost you about 30 million. Don't worry, there's some cheaper players coming up later in this list. But the comment did specifically say when he was recommended that he is great for the elite teams. And I can certainly vouch for that. I mean, you just have to look at the amount of greens and yellows on this screen to know just how good he is. But he's got everything in his locker from the physical attributes to the mentals to the technicals. Everything is top, top level. Could genuinely play for Manchester City in their midfield quite comfortably in the FM world with these kind of attributes, obviously using City as one of the best teams in the world as an example. Great passer, great defensively, really good on the ball as well, can score a goal, really strong mentally, a leader who's fantastic in the physical department as well. And on top of that, he's versatile as anything, natural in all three midfield areas, can play forward, can play behind your midfield, whatever you want. Tien Koop Miners has got it. International experience, 25 years of age, go Going into his prime, sign him up for 30 mil. Yes, it's a lot, but you will not regret it. This next recommendation, though, is the first one where I'm not going to say he is as good as some of the others, in my own opinion. This is Fastino Andrin, or Tino Andrin, as you might know him, a Chelsea prospect who had great potential a few years ago, went on a few loans, got a few injuries, and now is at Portsmouth on loan. But the best thing about him is usually his contract is up within two seasons, meaning you can actually get him as a free agent, and often he will join a championship level side. Now at that kind of level, I will fully admit he will seem overpowered. He's very good and better than that level, particularly when he gets some growth because he does still have a lot of potential in game. He's just got less time to fulfill it now, now that he's over the age of 21. But in that championship level, even low Premier League, he can be a real good, crucial player for your side. Do I think he can play right at the top? Would Chelsea ever use him? I mean, in their current situation, I'm a Chelsea fan, maybe we need anyone. But yeah, realistically, I don't think in the FM world, he'll ever be good enough for that kind of club. But if you can pick him up as a free agent or on the cheap or loan him in from Chelsea in season two after his loan is done at Portsmouth, you're definitely going to get a quality player who can help your side out. So do I think he's overpowered maybe at one level in the championship but maybe not as much as some of the others are so Tino Andrin a good pick but maybe not my favorite in this list but the next player might just be one of my favorites this is Tommaso Baldanzi the 20 year old Italian playing for Empoli which of course aren't the biggest side in Serie A and he can usually be bought for a fairly cheap fee of about 10 to 15 million why do I like this guy so much well genuinely on paper straight away he is already fantastic can score goals can create can dribble 
dribble pass and one can even hit a set piece as well at a decent level with great mentals and technicals so that's obviously a big plus in his department he can do it all in that attacking midfield area but the best part is of course his potential he's 20 here if you look at him a few years into your save he will be a world-class midfielder no doubt about it and there's a reason why teams like Arsenal and United are interested in him here at the start of this save if you can pick him up for 15 million pounds you get an elite attacking option he's at Empoli right now I guarantee you a few years into your save he won't be so act fast if you want him and you will reap the rewards definitely a top level player who seems to smash it in the in-game engine this year Tommaso Baldanzi is a fantastic Italian midfielder but if you're looking for an attacking midfielder that's going to cost a little bit less than that 15 million price point then check out Ben Sedade of Hertha Berlin the German under 17 international is a player that you can pick up for only a few million classed as a breakthrough prospect at Hertha and there'll be a lot of interest in him early on because of how cheap he is you can usually pick him up for about 1 million 1.5 million and personally I've used him in a Hertha Berlin rebuild that we did on my channel and within about a year or so he was already a Bundesliga level player within a few years he was a high level Bundesliga player playing for a Hertha team that we had in European competition so he's definitely worth the money he's definitely going to become a top player and even if he doesn't grow that much he's still a really good option with 14 passing 14 vision 14 technique only the age of 17 great creative attributes he's also a good dribbler with nice first touch and flair physically maybe not the best but he is going to grow a lot in the next few years and can really be a big midfield presence a great suggestion from you guys particularly if you're looking for a more bargain option then check out Dade here who if you might recognize that name it's because he's from a whole family everyone from his dad pal who is the manager of her for Berlin they've also got Palco Dade here as well who plays for her for Berlin and guess what another brother Martin Dade who also plays for her for Berlin and by the way that is another top talent there he is a great center back and we've got two very polarizing players to look at here for our last two firstly a recommendation I had no idea about that I'm absolutely blown away by is Ibrahim Osman and this is why I love your guys comments because I never would have seen this guy without you guys letting me know but he is a Ghanaian 18 year old striker playing for FC Norseland out in Denmark he's been to the RTD Academy as well out in Ghana and actually by the looks of it has some appearances already for Norseland now as a striker in terms of what you're looking for in this year's match engine for about a million quid I don't think there's going to be that many better than him in what we're looking at here which is acceleration agility pace with good finishing ability first touch and dribbling great composure off the ball work technique and work rate as well very much has the potential to be an elite forward and I really don't say that lightly I know you might look at some of his attributes particularly his determination here and think that he doesn't look great firstly that might vary in your save with a lot of young players their determination can vary but secondly if we forget about the determination and look at all of the other poor attributes I can forgive it because if we have a look at him in that advanced forward role, other than stamina and maybe decision making and composure, everything you'd want, he's got. He's got the pace, he's got the finishing ability, the dribbling and the first touch. And I promise you, in this year's match engine, that's all he needs. If he's got that pace and he's got the finishing first touch and dribbling, he is going to tear past defences and score goals at a high level pretty early on. And there's a reason that Champions League winning sides like Porto and Bayern are interested in a player of this age, of this ability at that price point you need to give him a go so in my opinion this is maybe my favorite suggestion of a lot because I never would have knew about this guy without your guys help then we finish off with Paul Onowatu who is known for scoring the worst hat trick in football history if you don't know what I mean search up Onowatu hat trick just look at it I don't know how he converted three goals in that game but he's a Southampton player of course relegated who are now in the championship so he's gone out on loan to Turkey no option to buy so in most cases he'll return to Southampton when they get promoted into the Premier League but the reason that he was suggested and I can see why in most areas I don't think he'd be a good striker but in terms of being a target forward you know what I can see it particularly in the match engine physical attributes tend to trump everything else and to have him with 17 strength and 20 jumping reach that is very very impressive with 14 heading and 14 finishing as well good off the ball work his movement's going to be good he's going to out muscle a defender he's going to jump higher than everyone else and realistically he probably will score a lot of goals and the comment where he was suggested said exactly that that he scored 30 goals a season 28 of them or something were with his head so clearly he's got his 
way of scoring. He is a good player. If you use him as a target forward, maybe in a front two, maybe a big man and a small man, this six foot seven striker could definitely be a good shout. Would I launch him up front for Man City or Real Madrid? Probably not. But if you're a team that likes to play long balls forward, Onoachu could actually be a pretty good option for you guys. So you know what? As much as at first I didn't really think this pick was a good one, I'm going to let you off because I could see how this might work in FM this year. But there you go. There's 11 picks from you guys, overpowered players that you've used in your save. I want to hear your suggestions though for more of them in the comments down below. If you've got five suggestions, put all five down there and we'll try and feature as many as we can in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.